Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today's topic of conversation is one of the unsung most exciting new features of the newly released TypeScript 3.9. It wasn't that much of a big release in terms of new features, except for this feature, <laughs> this one small feature called uh, TS expect error. It's so currently when you write TypeScript code and you run into some edge case where TypeScript either doesn't know what you're trying to do in your code or TypeScript's misbehaving, you can add a comment to effectively turn off TypeScript's checking for that line of code. What does that mean? Before TypeScript 3.9, you could write code like this. So I can say my name is a string, and if somehow I make that into a Boolean, TypeScript will, of course, yell at me because I'm saying that name's a string and why you give me a boolean here. So what you have today is be able to do TS ignore to essentially turn off the TypeScript checking. However, with TypeScript 3.9, you got this new thing called TS expect error. And let me show you an example. So let's imagine that you're consuming some external um, function, uh, make analytics call. I'm going to say this is the page is a string, and then we have some options, which takes in a uh, options argument here. We don't really, we don't care what happens here. We're just here for the types. <laughs> uh, so options, we're going to say um, the user is a string, and we're going to say enabled is a boolean. Cool. So now let's say this is some external library we're using, right? We don't really care. This is and after here, this is our user code below. So then we actually use this code. We can say make analytics call. We'll say the page is um, home. And because we're, you know, type safe, we want to say, uh, you know, uh, options user is Harry. And of course it's enabled. So that's cool. This works great. Let's say they this is version one, right? Version one. Then let's say they bumped to version 1.1 where they actually make enabled optional. Great. I can now remove this. Everything's working as expected. Now let's say they do a breaking change to, well, let's say they make it version 1.2. And what they actually do is they're now going to actually make options be optional. And they're going to have the code in here, you know, handle it correctly. But for some, whatever reason, they actually forget to bump the types for that. They actually forget to add this little question mark here. But our user land code wants to take advantage of that new feature, so we do this. And of course, this is failing because we're saying that options is required and it's not being provided. So what we can actually say is uh, TS expect error. And what this is saying to TypeScript is that this next line, I know there's an error here. You told me there's an error. I know there's an error here. I expect there to be an error. That's good. Um, and that means that you can then keep going along coding what you need to do. Um, but why this is a little bit better than TS ignore is let's say they actually fix this issue. They go to 1.3 and they actually make options optional. Now, do you see what just happened here? The squiggly line came back. Uh, and the error here is that TS expect errors unused. Um, because now they've actually fixed the typings correctly, which means that the second argument is actually unused. And here, TypeScript is now letting us know that something in the underlying type system has changed, so this annotation is no longer necessary, which means I can safely ignore it. And so it's a great way for you to, when you know, when there's known bugs that you just wanna work around, but you want to be told when those bugs are fixed, that's a great use case for it. Um, I also encourage you to read the blog post. I'll paste it in the uh, show notes, but about the differences between TS ignore, TS expect. Um, I would actually probably bet that in many cases in your code base, if you do use TypeScript that you use TS ignore, you probably want to use TS expect error, especially if it was some temporary workaround and you expected the underlying code to be fixed eventually. Uh, you want to be notified 
when it's fixed such that either A, the annotation is no longer necessary, or B, maybe it's changed in a different unexpected way and you also want to be notified. So TS expect error is really, really, it's, it's, a, it's, a, it's a deceptively large usability improvement that I don't think I'm going to fully appreciate it until I use it more, but just seeing it here is really exciting. So will you be using TS expect ignore? I'm curious to hear your thoughts. Um, are you already using it? Are you ahead of the curve? You've been running laps around me. I want to know. Uh, but you know, TypeScript, it always do what it wants to do. I'm glad that it's adding a little bit more escape hooks so that when you want it to get out of your way, it can. And this is a great example of a great escape hook. Thank you for watching. Uh, tell your friends, loved one, and your pets. And I will see you again in the next one when it shows in your feed. Till then, keep coding. Bye.